What's going on YouTube? Russell Save here, and I want to give you guys some top tips and advices that you guys should do when you guys go to WrestleMania. Check it out. So first off, I want to tell you guys it's just too sweet that you guys are going to WrestleMania, and I hope you guys all have a good time, and hope you guys can apply what I'm telling you because you will need it. So advice number one is to set up a budget and um, I know this might sound like this video is going to sound a lot about money but at the end of the day you know it's it's going to affect um, your economic situation when you go. So always plan ahead. Um, I recommend you know saving up a good $300, $500 per month and it will um, pretty much set you up for probably next year's WrestleMania. Going to WrestleMania is a pretty expensive but wonderful freaking experience. Um, when I tell you guys that it's expensive, uh, it can be very expensive, especially if you're coming out of state or you're in state and you want to stay in a hotel, then it could be pricey, but it all depends where you're coming from. For example, if I live in Miami and I want to go to next year's WrestleMania, which is in New York, I might want to have to save up to $300 to $500 a month till next year. Like, it all depends on what you want to buy, um, ticket-wise, hotel-wise. Also, think about um, trip fares, um, for example, Ubers, um, airplane tickets, or if you're going in a car, you're going to go in, in um, with gas. So, biggest recommendation I can give you guys is to save up with time. Don't make it into, like, a last-minute thing because you're not going to get much out of it. So, if you guys want to experience it really good... Make sure to make an Excel spreadsheet, check out everything that you guys are going to do, and um, vary prices. That's that's how you're going to know how much you're going to need, how much you're going to spend, and how much your budget at the, at the end of the day is estimated to be around. That's number two, clothes. Clothes can be a very um, big thing when you go because it can get hot unless you're in um states like new york that it might be cold but usually wrestlemanias are in um spring so so for example you might want to wear like a thin shirt like this one um nice jeans comfortable shoes it's pretty cool like that you guys could use this and um it's not you're not gonna feel that you're gonna be sweating too much you're not gonna feel um that you're under pressure in the sense that if you want to take off your shirt and stuff, which you can because there's a lot of people that go without shirts and stuff. Just make sure to come with one and then take it off if you want to. But to make everyone comfortable, just stay with something nice. A uh, wrestling shirt uh, is fine. Um, shorts is fine. Wear comfortable shoes. For example, running shoes are really good for this. Advice number three has to be, please stay on the map. Know where exactly you're going. Know how long it takes. And do whatever you got to do to make it on time. Please have tickets on hand, which brings me to my other point. But I'll say that later. But right now, location has to do a lot of things. Because when you go to WrestleMania, it gets really packed. Lines are extremely long. And you might want to know what exactly you're doing. Take food if you have to in line. Because I'm positive that you're going to eat it before getting into the... Like, the the security check. Advice number four has to be please print out your tickets. Um, I know that some stadiums have um, this thing that you guys can have your tickets on mobile. So since you guys have those type of tickets now, uh, it wouldn't be harder to get in. But I do recommend that you guys take a power bank. You know, uh, portable chargers are, you know, great for events. So make sure you take them because I know you guys are going to be all over social media. And be like, hey, yo, I'm at WrestleMania. You know, dream life. Um, came true so please do what you gotta do keep those tickets in hand it's it'll be a shame that you you know spend so much money on a freaking ticket that you're not you're not gonna get it now my last point and this might be a fun one this is for the ones that you know go all over extreme give me a second don't forget to bring these babies oh yeah stadiums arenas let you bring these um beautiful belts um make sure to uh have fun you know socialize with everybody that's there um, you know, if people don't have their titles and they want to hold it, don't be a dick and, you know, let them hold it. Like, make them feel that how it feels to, you know, actually hold 
about like about this quality. So my last advice is to be courteous, be respectful, be humble, be, you know, do everything you gotta do. Have fun, yell if you have to, but don't take it to the over extreme. Like people go a little bit too extreme, and you know it's not an adult event. There's a lot of kids, and I hope you guys understand that it's mostly for them. Wrestlers don't do what they gotta do, what they do, so people in the stands can fight over who won who or who's a mark or not. If they want to mark out, let them mark out. This is the type of event that everybody should hold hands and you know have fun. So these guys. It's more than just wrestling, guys. So, when you guys go, have fun. Don't get in an argument over stupid shit. Have fun. There's no reason why you should get into anything. Yell if you have to. Cheer for your side. Do what you gotta do. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Please leave a like and comment on this page. Subscribe if you like this video, if you wanna see more. Thank you so much. Have a good one.